Hello YouTube, so today I'm gonna show you how to install Debian testing. To install Debian testing you need to install Debian stable first and then to upgrade to Debian testing as it says here. Alternatively you can also use Debian testing image but it's not recommended because Debian testing image is meant to test the installer not to install the actual system and then we just need to change the source list to upgrade to Debian testing. This is uh, not a complicated uh, process but uh, there are a couple of steps uh, which are very important uh, and if you are a new user I think you will find this video useful. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing we need to do is to download the ISO. I recommend you to go with network install because we're gonna do very minimal install so we don't need a lot of packages so network installer should work uh, pretty fine. So I'm gonna download AMD64. This is 64-bit uh, architecture. If you use a 32-bit uh, you probably will need to download this uh, uh, image but I will proceed with this one. So I'm gonna save it. So next uh, is uh, I'm gonna install it in a virtual machine, but uh, I have tested it on actual hardware many times and it worked pretty well. So let's uh, start. So we need to press F12 here and choose uh, our boot uh, location. So in this case is CD-ROM. See, I have already mounted the image. Here we will do graphical installer because it's easier. So we will choose English, United States, American English. Yeah, every time there is an install process, I'm just gonna uh, speed up the video to save some time. But uh, here it's gonna be quite fast. Debian installer is a little bit slow in comparison to something like Ubuntu or Linux Mint. But it's still very great distro and uh, I think it's uh, worth uh, spending some time to install it. So you can keep a uh, hostname as Debian or you can name it whatever you want, how you wanna call your computer. Um, in this case, uh, I'm gonna name it VirtualBox because this is a virtual machine where I'm installing it. Uh, so for the main name, you can put your domain name, I will keep it empty. Root password, we'll just put some short password here, it's a virtual machine, so it's not uh, very important. So here is your username, uh, so you can put your full name and here is a short name. Another password, this is a password for your user, I will also keep it short but usually you should use something longer. You can select your time zone, I will keep it to Eastern. This is a um, quite important step because here you need to partition your hard drive. In this uh, case, uh, my partition uh, setup is very simple because it's only one partition. I'm gonna use it. We need to define the file system type, so it's gonna be XT4. It's quite reliable file system, I always use it and it works pretty fine. So then you need to define if you want to format the partition, yes. But be careful because if it's your home partition and you have some important files in your home partition, so don't format it. So for the mounting point, we're gonna choose root. But if it's your home partition, you need to choose home. But uh, it's a simple setup here. Uh, so you can skip label or you can name it, for example, uh, I would name this one root and uh, if it was home I would call it home so it's uh, easier to navigate between partition. The rest I think uh, is okay so let's proceed. If you had a home partition it would be shown here so you could also uh, do some settings for it but uh, in my case it's just one partition here so let's finish. No we don't want to return we have done all the settings. Uh, yes we want changes to be written to a disk. Here we need to select the Debian mirror. You can choose your country here. So I'm gonna choose Sweden because I'm in Sweden now. So for the mirror name you can choose any of them here but uh, usually the top option works fine. So we're gonna proceed with it. I don't have any proxy. So here we ask if, if we want to participate in a package usage survey. I recommend you to put yes here because it will help Debian to collect some statistics on usage but I'm gonna use no here because it's a testing machine. And this is the most important step here because um, we want our install to be as minimal as possible so we have a smaller chance to break anything during the upgrade. So we are not going to install any desktop environment. So we just going to install the standard system packages and you can also install print server if you need but I'm not gonna do it because I'm not uh, printing on this machine anything. Okay, now we are asked to install bootloader, so we say yes here. And here you should choose uh, the hard drive where you install the system. In my case it's only one hard drive. 
Okay, so we are done with a minimal install of Debian stable. From this step you should remove your USB flash drive or a CD disk and depends what you used for your install and click continue. So the system is going to reboot now. We haven't installed any graphical environment, so that's why now we are in the command line interface. We need to log in here with our username and password. After the login, we need to switch to root. So after we have switched to root, now we can edit uh, the system files. And what we need to do, we need to edit uh, the sources of our system. But uh, before we do any edit, it's a good practice to make a backup copy. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna copy this file etc apt source list and we're gonna put our copy in the same location but with the name backup so we have copied it so for example now if we go to etc apt so we can see the files and as you can see we have source list and source list backup so the next step would be to edit our source list in this file we have all the sources listed as jesse so what we need to do we need to replace all the, uh, these uh, jesse names with testing you can edit it here just by typing te uh, testing but it's a bit laborious to change every word here i'm gonna show you a simple solution no we don't want to save so what we're gonna do we're gonna type set I then uh, one quotation S Jesse and then testing G at the end and our file name. What it's gonna do like if you remove this I option for example here and run it you will see that now all Jesse names are replaced with testing. But to do it on the same file we need to put this option I and after we have done it you can go back to our source list and as you can see we have testing changed everywhere so after we have done this we need to update our cache apt update upgrade as you can see it lists a lot of packages for upgrade so let's upgrade them here we can just scroll with the space and when you reach the end you press q to quit choose yes Upgrade doesn't upgrade all the packages, so it also makes sense to dist upgrade. Some typo. Yes. We have successfully upgraded to Debian testing. Now we need to reboot our system. So after the reboot, we're going to install graphical interface. So in this case, I'm gonna show you how to install XFCE desktop. So we can log in to root again and type apt install XFCE4. Yes. So we have installed XFCE desktop. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna reboot and hopefully we will load into a new system. And here we are in our Debian testing XFCE desktop environment. Thank you for watching and in my next video I'm gonna show how I configure XFCE desktop environment for my own use.